Hello students and welcome back. As we all know, we are dealing with that the such type of video series where we are connecting with you, where we are sharing your knowledge, where we are improving your knowledge. Okay? So such things we are going to continue whenever the such situations are giving opportunity to service for my children. <coughs> Today, uh, as we know about that, uh, in previous video, we were talking about the different types of, of grammar topics or different type of that uh, grammar activities or exercises. Okay. So today, the same thing uh, we are going to start. The new topic is there. The topic is very interesting. If you do do this topic very carefully, you read and you can develop your topic is very nicely. So what happened? You can be a good communicator. You have good of communicate, communicate with the other people by listening, by reading, by writing, or by speaking. It's a very interesting thing is here. And it will be give a good impression on your listener, on your readers. Whatever thing you want to communicate with other people. So this topic will help you. <coughs> Even though with the help of this topic, you can make a lot of games, you can give a lot of puzzles, you can be you can connect a lot of quizzes are there. There's a very interesting topic is there. And don't think that this topic is only for the this fixed center or for the sake of that. Whenever you need, you can learn this topic very much. And we'll guess what topic do you want to start? <coughs> okay. Let us see. Your topic is synonyms and antonyms. What's that? Synonyms and antonyms. Got it? Interesting topic? Yes. You can ask the questions to your parents, friends, and your relatives, cousins. Okay? You have to have good memory. If you have good word power, actually, this thing is what? These things have good word power. If you have good word power in you, so you can play this activity very nicely. Synonyms and antonyms. <coughs> now see, huh? what do I do if I don't know what that word means? Before going to start, what is that? Look up the word even in the dictionary. For example, the word evening means late afternoon or early night. I don't know the words. A lot of words are there. Hundreds, hundred thousand worth of words are there. I'm not thinking that I'm good in English. I'm good in language. Every time it is a new words are there. Fine. So what do you want to know? You want to know the meanings of the words. So do I what do I do if don't I don't know what the word means? So whatever I will prefer the dictionary. Yes, I'll prefer the dictionary and find out the meaning. Correct? Now see next. What is a synonym? A synonym is a word that has the same or almost the same meaning as another word. See here, a synonym is a word that had the same or almost the same meaning as another word. Example, big, large, cold, chilly, cold, chilly. So these are the such words are there which show that these are the synonyms. See, yeah? the difference is very important. Had the same or almost the same meaning as other words. Have the same or almost same meaning. That's called synonyms. Got it? Means if I say any word is here, whatever words are there, if I say <coughs> ancient, so neither about if you find another word of the similar words. So old is here. <coughs> if I say word nice, N-I-C-E nice, descent is here. So which word having the same or almost same meaning? It's called synonyms. Words that look and sound different but have a similar meaning. Jump, oh. See here, the different but similar meaning. Their spelling is different. Pronunciation is different. 
Okay? Sound is pronunciation. Sound different. Pronunciation is different. But even though they are similar in meanings, they are similar in meanings. Like J U M P, jump. And same time, H O P, hook. So both are the different meanings. Sorry, both are different spellings, different pronunciation, <coughs> different sound is there. But at last, the meanings are same. Test your knowledge. If you choose the word night, you are very close, but that not quite. If I say evening, what is the meaning of evening? So I am saying if you choose the night, evening is night. Evening is night, but it is very close, but but that is not quite or that is correct. Fine. Who found the word? Who found the word? Dusk, nightfall, close of day, sun, sundown, sunset, evening or twilight. So this is called that some words of evening. Dusk, nightfall, close of day, sundown, sunset, eve or twilight. So these are the words which is show the express the meaning of evening. Evening is the time of the day right around the sunset before it gets completely dark outside we sometimes refer to this time as the dusk d u s k dusk okay <clears throat> now next antonyms what is that antonyms so our topic having two, two points our topic is two important points synonyms <laughs> and antonyms Synonyms, the similar words, meaning same or almost the same. Now, antonyms. Antonyms are words with opposite or nearly opposite meanings. Opposite. Not same. Opposite. A word which means that exact, exact contrary of another. Antonyms can be any part of the speech, such as noun, verb, adjective, adverb, or preposition. As long as <coughs> both words are the same part of the speech. See. Antonyms are word which is opposite. When there is a different meaning, completely opposite meaning. And these such things will be part of your part of speech. Like they may be a noun, they may be a verb, they may be adjective, they may be adverb, or they may be preposition. Now there will be a question, sir, how is possible? How is possible possible the preparation is the antonyms? We'll see. The end of this video, there is a one exercise is here. Fine. <coughs> what is the antonym? A word that means that opposite of, uh, of one another. Example, it's called looked up versus it's called looked down. See, these are some examples I have How is it? It's called looked up. You be up. Up is there, so it's called looked down. Down is the opposite word of that. So these things I show that up is a word which we use opposite of down. Why you tell me? These have to describe the object and subject in the sentence. What he describe? He describe objects and subjects in the sentence. That's why right. we use the antonyms. Antonyms in our sentence. Which word you which word would you use instead? He turtle in his mouth. Tony loves to eat cold pizza. Okay, don't eat. <coughs> now, I told you that now, part of speech, most of part of the speech, see here. Noun, child, word, child, synonyms, kid, antonym, parent. That is the opposite words. If you say noun, if you say noun, so we take the example of child and we use kid as a synonym, the similar word, the same word, in the same name. If you say opposite, then we call parent, antonym. Verb, stay. Verb, stay. Example, synonym, remain, as it is. That is called as. But if you say opposite, go, stay. Opposite, go, verb. 
adjective pretty pretty then synonym beautiful opposite ugly adverb quickly hurriedly or slowly now important thing preposition in inside or outside in inside or outside so these are the example which we use for the part of speech these are the part of speech where we use the such type of words synonyms or antonyms so in your mind this question is there doubt is there how is it possible all the part of speech word become the antonyms or synonyms what is especially most of the student have like doubts on preposition so that's why i just give an example in french preposition besides okay up down so these are the words which you can use and then it was synonyms now things remember huh? what is actually use of antonyms and synonyms <coughs> synonyms and antonyms are useful to know that because they improve the reading and writing skill by enhancing your vocabulary if you good command in your reading if you good capacity of your word power so improve reading and writing skill by enhancing our vocabulary right now it is need you think that vocabulary if you have good word power word memory so whatever new things come in front of you can easily feel it will be solid <coughs> familiarity familiarizing or memorizing the same or antonym half of word is good technique to remember them decoding words so context clue is also the best way to remember them instead of instead of recycling on one by one so there are some things that we need to be improve our word power why you think using the same word over and over again is dull suppose we don't have any word power we don't have any word thing is there again and again we are same using the same word so we not impressive so for changing the word we want the different word this help make the sentence more interesting they can create moods create pictures out of the word so these are things if you use different words different type of understanding so that it will be very impressive and attract and create to move to be a watch if i say young if i can say okay see for activities here yeah? if i say young if i can sit then you can stand if i i turn left then you sit and right okay we take now one activity first you stand okay i will play the antonyms game if i say sit if i say sit you stand if i say turn right you turn left okay if i say close your eyes then you open your eyes if you i say clap your finger clap your hand then you <coughs> open your hand fine whatever the words i am using you can react opposite that got it so <coughs> sit very good close your eyes very good turn right turn right up your hand up your hand Well, means you should be conscious about your understanding. Whatever the teacher is giving the direction is an antonym game. Means if I say move right, you should move left. Means you show your presence and according to that word power you can react in that. Fine. So these are the game is there. Then you can turn right and then you can form. Okay. So here yeah, this is the simple video about antonyms or synonyms. I hope. You will learn very much. Okay. Now I request you of the page number one thirty four and remaining things, whatever things are there. Please complete the exercise. Okay. And if you in doubt, you call me. Okay. You text me. Okay. And you take time off revision. We will connect again some more videos. Fine. And please, whatever the memory power do you have, word power do you have, please utilize it. Play the game. Make the quiz. Make something is 
things there, but then the people will attract towards you and they will be involved talking with you. Because if you have word power, so you will be good communicator, you will be good communicator to other people by reading, by writing, okay, by speaking to them. Fine. So hope you can develop your word power and you can improve your listeners or readers who are very close to you. Thank you, thank you very much, Kavanagh.